Hi, I'm Jason from Weller Racing, and I'm going to show you how to install an SR1 drive hub kit. If you look right here, we have our SR1 carrier. This is our markup one, that's why it's all raw. You're going to install that in the mount, just like that. I've already put the bolts in there, just started them. You're going to rotate this up to where your hubs will clear the frame rails. That'll help you out. <laughs> We got the left drive hub. This is basically this is where your sprocket bolts to. This goes on the left side, just like that. Push that all the way in. If you're uh, gonna do the inboard brakes, now's the time to put the brake caliper mounting plate kit on. Basically, in our other video, we showed you how to install it. If you want to look for that, so we'll install the. We already welded on the spud right there. We'll install the caliper mounting plate now, just like that. Your snap ring pliers. Put the snap ring on. Try to hold the left side of the carrier in just a little bit. Get it on there. It's seated, but I just want to make sure. Yeah. So it's all the way seated. So now you can see our copper mount plate, how it moves, and everything. So we have plenty of clearance. Oh. Like on this job, we're installing the brakes and the in inboard brakes, so I've already mounted the rotor hub on it. If you're not going to do the inboard brakes, then this would just be the small hub. So since we're going to do that, it's already bolted to the back, where you're going to install this hub next. So it's all the way in, pretty easy. I have the washer and the bolt that go on the right side. You're going to put red Loctite on this bolt, very important. So you're going to have lots of red Loctite on that bolt. And then you'll need a six millimeter Allen socket. It's pretty basic, just a uh, screws right in that right side. So after you lock tight it, after you get it started, um, you can either gun it down with like a 3 8 impact drill hard, or you can torque it. I'd probably go like 50 pounds on that thing. It's, it's pretty tight and that's pretty important. Every once in a while, you're going to want to check that bolt, just make sure it's not coming loose. It's pretty easy, you can just pop off the CD, get right to it, so. That's our drive hub kit. Uh, I have a rotor. It's just a rotor I, I have just to show for demonstration, but next you would put the rotor on, and it would just bolt from there. You'd put the bolts through the back, where the nuts are on this side. And you also want to make sure the rotor is mounted like this, where the counter sinks on this side. Same thing with the sprocket. You see the sprocket's got a, a lip right here. You want to make sure that's facing towards the driver's side. So when you put this on, you want the lip on this side. That's how the sprocket mounts. And then you can mount the rotor and then the caliper. Oh, we have a minor caliper rotor bolt right there. We do have some options for bigger rotors, bigger brakes and things, but this is like our basic fit.